session, uh, which is our spotlight in five irrigation systems. And we have with us Mr. Sabarna Roy, who is a senior vice president at Electro, Electro Steel Group. A very warm welcome to you, sir. I hope you can see me and hear me clearly. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, Prada, can we pass on the presenter rights uh, to him? And meanwhile, I'll just take care. No, I think we have seconds. sent the presentation. I'll be sharing it. All right. Okay. So, uh, Prerna, you uh, share the presentation. I'm just going to take 20, 30 seconds to introduce him and then we are going to start uh, with the presentation. Uh, like I said, Mr. Sabana Roy is uh, a senior vice president at Electro Steel Group. He has uh, been with Electro Steel for over 25 years now and he is engaged in giving leadership uh, to business development applications, technology, and certain key strategies. He is an active participant in the various activities of International uh, Commission on Irrigation and Drainage, Confederation of Indian uh, Industry, CII, Central Board of Irrigation and Power, Indian Geo uh, Geographical Committee of International Water Resources Association, Calcutta Business School, Engage India, and JIS Group of Institutions. Mr. Roy is a civil engineer with a first class honors from Jadavpur University. Thank you. Yes, sir, please. So, um... I'll be making a presentation on uh, uh, piped irrigation system. So uh, you can skip this slide and we can come to the next slide. Uh, this is uh, an artist's imagery of the logic proposed in this slide. Now this figure actually shows the conventional system in which water was to flow into the village service area through a subminer, taking off from the miner and taking water to fields through a network of field channels. So this was the earlier system that was followed uh, typically and conventionally in canal uh, you know, irrigation network. Come to the next slide, please. Now, uh, this slide actually shows you the state of the command area soon after commissioning of the reservoir and the main system. Uh, this figure shows the situation after some years of project implementation when water began flowing in the main system, but the command area remained dry for want of a distribution system below the miner. Come to the next slide. Now, uh, this uh, imagery actually shows you the chaotic development of the command area by illegal lifting of water along the main system. Now, this figure shows the spontaneous and unruly development of pump and pipe irrigation all over the main system by farmers lifting water at will. Can we come to the next slide? Now, uh, this is significant. Now, this figure illustrates uh, situation after the ban of lifting of water from the main system, ensure weekly rotation of water supply in miners, which may be treated as storages, and encourage farmers, cooperatives, and service providers to invest uh, in a buried pipe distribution system to irrigate the village service area. So this is a shift from the last three slides which we were talking about. Come to the next slide. Come to the next slide, please. Yeah. So uh, this is advantages of uh, pipe irrigation network over canal uh, irrigation network. Now there are. Uh, especially five kind of efficiencies, uh, uh, conveyance efficiency, field canal pipeline efficiency, field application efficiency, project efficiency, and distribution efficiency. Now, the canal-based conveyance has been worked out with canal with a drip system, canal with a sprinkler system, canal with surface irrigation system. Similarly, for pipe-based conveyance, it has been worked out with pipe with drip system, pipe with sprinkler system, and pipe with surface irrigation system. So uh, if you see the project efficiency, project efficiency in a canal-based conveyance system with 
drip system is 57.1 percent with sprinkler system is 47.6 percent and with surface irrigation is 38.1 percent whereas the same efficiencies uh, in a pipe based conveyance system with drip is 81.2 percent uh, in case of with sprinkler irrigation system 67.7 percent and with surface irrigation system 54.2 percent so it clearly shows the advantages of a pipe based conveyance system over a canal based conveyance system come to the next slide please next slide please yeah so uh this is very significant that if uh, water is released at the project head of 100 units a canal with a drip system will receive water directly available to the crop 57.1 units canal with sprinkler with will receive 47.6 units canal with surface irrigation will receive 38.1 units whereas pipe with drip will receive 81.2 units pipe with sprinkler will receive 67.7 units and pipe with surface irrigation will receive 54.2 units so increase in overall efficiency from canal based system to pipe based system for a drip drip based micro irrigation system is 24.1 percent for a sprinkler based micro irrigation system is 20.1 percent and for a surface based irrigation system is 16.1 percent come to the next slide please now advantages of pipe irrigation network over canal irrigation system now the point is less execution time for pipe based irrigation network is uh, in case of uh, pipe based irrigation network based uh, systems as compared to canal distribution network systems now i'll cite an example sareu canal national irrigation project of uttar pradesh the project is being implemented in phases phase one uh, which is actually pre aibp phase two which is the aibp and phase three pmksy national project irrigation potential of 9.31 lakh hectares reportedly created till the completion of phase one and phase two the project was included under AIBP in 1996-97 and remained under AIBP till the year 2011-12. Till now, 72% of main canal, 10% of branch canal, 36% of distributaries and minor, miners have been completed and 1.48 lakh, lakh hectare irrigation potential created till date. Latest revised approved cost of works for national project compo component is rupees 5,803.61 crore and from that 2,737.59 crore has been spent till now. 1,251.45 hectare of land is yet to be acquired for national project components and court cases are pending for land acquisition. Out of the total CCA of 11.29 lakh hectare, only 2.26 lakh hectare is covered by CAD works and remaining 9.03 lakh hectare is to be taken up. So this is, uh, uh, this is how delays and cost increases have affected uh, absolutely a fully canal-based irrigation uh, network system. Come to the next slide, please. Now, uh, the second example is of uh, Tista Barrage project in West Bengal. The Tista Barrage project, uh, that is the first substage phase one, was approved uh, in 1975 for rupees 69.72 crore. That was the price level in 1970-71 for CCA of 3.04 lakh hectares. Government of West Bengal submitted the revised estimate for rupees 2,000. 979 crore at 2008 price level in June 2008, which was examined by Central Water Commission and finalized for rupees 2,988 
0.61 crore at June 2008 price level. Till date, only 78% of uh, main canal from 210 kilometer of main canal and 51% distribution network distributaries, minors, subminers covering a length of 2300 kilometer approximately has been completed. Irrigation potential of 197,020 uh, hectares out of 3.04 lakh hectare um, has been created as on today till now rupees 1465.76 crore has been spent. So this is the scenario with uh, this kind of mega scale canal based irrigation projects. Come to the next slide please. Now, whereas you can see that work underway on Dholpur lift irrigation project in Rajasthan, uh, this was discussed just a, a few minutes back by Mr. Jaiswal. Uh, this, this, uh, this is basically a completely, a, it's a hybrid project, a canal plus pipeline irrigation project, which is giving you uh, benefits, which is supposed to give you benefits within a, a time span of, three to four years. Mega lift irrigation projects in Odessa, a total of 2,209 mega lift irrigation projects have been taken up under the Parvati Giri mega irrigation projects. And as of now, 92 projects have been completed and works for 82 projects are going on. Out of 92 projects, 64 projects have been made functional, providing irrigation to 1,616 hectares of land. So these are the advantages, real time advantages of uh, piped irrigation network systems over canal based irrigation network systems. Come to the next slide, please. So you can see that uh, increase in CCA as compared to that is the command culturable area, culturable command area as compared to canals as the water losses are negligible and acquired land for canal network can also be used for cultivation as pipe irrigation network is underground. So uh, in a specific project of uh, Aula sprinkler irrigation system, um, that is Champatpur branch under Badaun irrigation scheme, we find that uh, in case of a proposed open channel uh, system without sprinkler system, the head discharge is 812 cusacks, whereas proposed pipe irrigation system without sprinkler system, in case of that, it is only 311 cusacks. So savings of around 500 cusacks in pipe irrigation for an additional area to be irrigated because the irrigated area increases from 14,874 hectares to 18,001 hectares. Come to the next slide, please. Now, these are typically the components of a piped irrigation network. There would be a intake, uh, intake, which is a structure placed in a surface water source to withdraw water from the source. Then there will be a raw water intake pipe uh, to take the raw water from the intake structure with help of pumping station. There will be a uh, then there will be a, a desilting uh, uh, arrangement. Although the sediment containing water is good for crops, it may affect the distribution system by clogging. So the necessity of desilting uh, basin needs to be studied in detail. Then there is the distribution system. I think the pictures have been uh, wrongly merged. Uh, actually, the, dis the picture that you are seeing in uh, uh, this distribution system should have been in the desilting arrangement and uh, what you are seeing under desilting arrangement should have been in the distribution system. I'm sorry for that. Of course, after the distribution mains, there will be diggies. That is, each chuck has its own diggy, which receives water from the distribution pipelines and from diggy water is distributed in field. And thereafter, uh, it will be through distribution mains. Each chuck has its own diggy which receives water from the distribution pipelines and from diggy water is distributed in field and it can be micro irrigation can be adopted, drip, sprinkler or surface irrigation. Come to the next slide. 
So uh, how do you select pipe? Because pipe is basically uh, the most uh, significant uh, component of uh, the pipe irrigation network uh, mm, man, um, pipe irrigation network system. So pipelines are major instruments in irrigation projects and as such constitute a major part of the assets. Um, pipe materials shall have to be carefully selected, not only from the point of view of durability, life and overall cost, but also their suitability in performing the required function throughout the design length. The following key factors are to be kept in mind while designing a pipeline system. Uh, proper hydraulic design and selection of pipe based on modified Hazen William co coefficient, or you can consider even the old and the conventional Hazen William coefficient. Ability of the strength of pipe to resist internal pressure and external lead. Life and durability of the pipe material, ease of transportation, handling, laying, and jointing under different site conditions ease of execution and minimum operation and maintenance cost. The cost of pipe material, its durability and design life are the two major governing factors of selection of pipe materials. Hence, a detailed techno-economic analysis is to be done, including the life cycle cost analysis before selecting a pipe material. Next slide, please. So this is how the economic sizing of pipe is done based on uh, um, Hazen Williams uh, formula. So I think everybody has a calculator or a soft Excel based uh, uh, software to calculate the most economic sizing of a pumping main. I did not uh, discuss on this in greater detail. We can come to the last slide. Please come to the next slide. Yeah, life cycle uh, cost is uh, very significant uh, and it has been detailed in the CWC PIN manual, which was uh, published in July 2017, which shows that life cycle shall be expressed as CLCC is equal to CC. CC is the construction cost, CO plus CO is the operation cost, CRL is revenue loss due to leakages, CM is the maintenance and repairs cost, CR is pipe replacement cost for short-lived pipe material, and CD is disposal cost. So there is in the CWC PIN manual a uh, template for calculating the life cycle cost analysis of various pipe materials that should be followed for preparing every detailed project report. Uh, detailed project report uh, uh, while sending it, it for administrative, financial, and technical approval so that finally you select the best uh, pipe option uh, that is available to you. Thank you so much for a patient hearing. Thank you, sir, for a very nice presentation. Uh, I have a couple of uh, questions for you which I've received from the delegates. Uh, the first one being, sir, in uh, in the last two days, we know that we have heard from a lot of uh, water resources departments from various states, Gujarat, uh, uh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh. However, sir, we see that the piped network, pipe-based irrigation systems are still not being uh, utilized uh, at that uh, scale. Uh, so, sir, uh, what do you think are the major deterrents here, which are, uh, you know, making uh, the state agencies or the irrigation departments to still go with the canal-based systems? Uh, if you tell me, if you ask me this question that uh, I'll be brutally honest with you that uh, mm, it is basically the mindset of the ground level engineers. Uh, mm, who do not want to shift from a land acquisition based canal irrigation system to a pipe. Uh, uh, pipe network based irrigation system, maybe because of their personal benefits, I don't know. Uh, but the fact is, uh, uh, it is states, the progressive states, which have shifted from uh, uh, canal based irrigation systems to pipe based irrigation systems. Uh, those have been the states which were 
this direction has come from the top. So it is the political and the bureaucratic will uh, that will play a long way in actually adopting the best technology in the years to come. Some of these states which have not actually uh, converted uh, uh, to pipe-based irrigation network systems, uh, I know for sure that uh, there the political will and the bureaucratic will has been uh, absent and because of which uh, the chief engineers and level below, uh, there have been no movement on the pipe-based irrigation network systems. I can name those states, but I don't want to do that in this platform. Uh, uh, sir, if we compare in terms of CAPEX and OPEX cost, sir, how, do, how can we compare the two, the canal-based systems and the pipe-based systems? You see, I have shown you um, projects uh, uh, which are completely 100% canal-based irrigation network systems, which have gone on for uh, 30, 40 years of construction time. So there is no point in, it's a very, very theoretical work to compare CAPEX and OPEX cost of canal-based irrigation network systems with pipe-based irrigation systems, where the efficiencies are to the tune of 25% in excess, number mm -hmm. one. Number two, time cons consumed is much lower. And it is an underground system, so the entire thing is a fit and forget kind of a system. Whereas I have shown you in the artist's imagery that uh, in a canal-based exposed system, you can have, uh, um, you can have actually uh, people, uh, you know, lifting water from the canal, stealing illegally water, and all these things happen in India. And sir, in terms of technology, uh, how can technology, what role can technology play in monitoring these uh, pipe-based irrigation systems? I think, uh, you see, all the technologies are available with us. Various kinds of pipe materials are available with us. We have now uh, all the kinds of solar systems, solar-powered uh, setups to integrate in fact in rajasthan all the uh, irrigation projects uh, because we have been uh, a part of the development of these uh, projects and we know for sure that uh, they are, all our projects all the projects are integrated with solar power systems you have your uh, uh, micro irrigation systems are very well developed the other engineering tools and engineering practices are well developed. So you don't have anything absent in India, uh, which would deter you from adopting full-fledged pipe-based irrigation systems in all the states in India. In fact, CWC has been uh, trying uh, hard to convert uh, canal-based irrigation systems to pipe-based irrigation systems because of which they published this PIN manual in July 2017, but yet, you know, some of the states are lagging behind because of the lack of uh, political and bureaucratic will. So, sir, in your view, uh, in the next two, three years, we'll have more of pipe-based irrigation systems uh, in India. Yeah. yeah and so, which are sure. the states where you think these will be adopted in the years to come? I think uh, UP is one of the states which has to uh, adopt pipe-based irrigation system to be able to uh, convert to uh, a more efficient way of working. I think West Bengal is a state, I am from Kolkata, so I can tell about my own state. Uh, West Bengal is taking some baby step, steps into, although because of our uh, efforts and trying to be conversant with them with these technical ideas, West Bengal is a state which has to take a lot of steps in uh, moving over to um, pipe-based irrigation systems. Among the bigger states, I would name UP and West Bengal, which have to convert to pipe-based irrigation systems. Uh, well, on that note, I think I'll bring this session to a close. Thank you very much, Mr. Roy, for joining us today and for giving a wonderful presentation on uh, pipe-based so irrigation much. systems. And also thank you. thank you for sponsoring the conference. Thank you so much. Thank you.